Hey everybody, it's your boy, and today's video is going to be about Clown World, as you can probably tell, and I think I should explain the title. So, my friend, who I've known for many years, as Deja, who will probably be in the comments of this video, commenting away as soon as this is uh, published, he came up with a really good phrase, and that is that Clown World knows no borders. For some of you, that would be, like, obvious, like, well, yeah, of course it doesn't know any borders, Clown World can affect any country at any time. In fact, it's probably affected everybody at this point. The problem is that there are certain people too insular for their own good. Whether that be that because they're in a small, closed community, that they think that anything that goes on in that community is representative of what's going on in the outside world, or in their own country, or in their civilization. What they think is that all these issues are unique to them, and not anywhere else, or that if they're not the same, they don't think that something similar is happening elsewhere, if that makes sense. So, for example, a lot of people on the right will think that all this woke bullshit, as they like to call it, is unique to the West, that it's not anywhere else in the world, and then it's just us that are having to deal with it. There's no other place on Earth that is dealing with anything like that. Well, it's not true, is it? The Middle East itself is going through its own clown world. Why do you think we've got all these silly memory TV memes and things like that? And in fact, it's probably been going on much longer. Now, yes, of course, there's outside influences from the West, you know, with the wars and stuff that's been going on, but they're having their own issues. And in fact, South Korea itself is having similar issues to the West in regards to feminism. It's almost like 2014 over there, but in fact, that's been going on since the mid-2000s. There are left-wing politicians that are being elected in that are trying to implement feminist policies and feminist transformations of their society, and they're seeing massive backlash. The earliest protests were in about 2007-ish, but only recently have they really picked up steam because, well, they've essentially tried to change the culture of the place too quickly and too much. And that itself is creating clown world light -like scenarios over there. It's very easy to think that the West is a massive joke, which it is, and to assume that only the West is this week, that we have this massive issue with masculinity, that we have this massive issue with femininity and the trans issues and all those other things that we always go on about on this channel and in other channels. You all know the issues. We just assume that it's unique to us when it's not. You can't get more clown world than an Islamic theocracy like Iran being a country where a hell of a lot of transitions take place. In fact, I think it's in the top 10, if not the top 5, countries where transitions take place. People don't realise that this whole clown world thing, the whole planet is going through. The West may be approaching something that may or may not be a dark ages, but unfortunately, if we go through a dark age, we'll drag everybody else with us. It's very easy to assume there's only the West that has declined to such a degree that it's become a joke, an actual meme. We weren't the first to arrive at meme status, and we won't be the last. Russia, it's a meme country for a reason. Iran, a meme country for a reason. China, which a lot of people seem to assume will become the world hegemon, has its own clown world issues. And you only have to look at how horribly they deal with Western memes about them. Again, you can't get more clown world than banning Winnie the Pooh because Xi Jinping looks like Winnie the Pooh. And they didn't ban it because Westerners called him Winnie the Pooh. They banned it because Chinese people were calling him Winnie the Pooh. That would be like Joe Biden banning Jeff Dunham because the old man puppet looks like him. If anything, I wouldn't say it's a black pill. I wouldn't be depressed about this. I would just look at it and say, you know what, it's pretty bad here, and we do have things worse than others, but at least we have other things that aren't as bad, and that this seems to be a civilizational phase that the world is going through. I assume that eventually, in a couple of decades, all of this will be gone. I don't think it will be gone after 2022. I think we'll have to wait till mid-century for all of this to subside, and then we'll see the results of it. But it's not like Clown World hasn't been a thing before. You only have to look at the fall of the Western Roman Empire and the Dark Ages, at least depending on your point of view on it. There was a lot of Clown World crap that was going on there. People suddenly believing in the strangest of suspicions, like Procopius claiming that the Byzantine Emperor's head decapitates from his body at night and skulks around the palace, and then thinking that all these strange, crazy beasts live in Asia, like wolf men and three-legged people and things like that. Like, this is what people actually believe, and then you look at the suspicions 
and the beliefs of a couple hundred years before when the Romans were at their peak and ancient Greek culture was also thriving to see that, yeah, they had their own weird views, but nowhere near as bad as what was going on in the Dark Ages and the early Middle Ages. We have had clown world scenarios where people have forgotten to write. So we're lucky that our current Dark Ages, if you can call this a Dark Age, is going as well as it, as it is, to be honest. This could be a hell of a lot worse. We could be seeing complete societal collapse. We could be seeing civilizational collapse. But we're not seeing it. We're seeing decline for sure, but nowhere near as bad as it could be. And I think that people should take heart in that and think, yeah, it could be worse. And at the very least, there is a light at the end of the tunnel here. Whereas at the time, people didn't realise during the Dark Ages, during the early Middle Ages, that there was going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And yet, the Renaissance happened, and that resulted in all the good things that we have now, aside from the bad. So anyway, I'll leave you there. Until next time, it's been your boy, and I'll see you all later.